uh, the way the movie is set up is you have the space station called Elysium, which is this utopian place, and everything good happens there. And all the grunge work for Elysium happens on Earth. Welcome. Ah, oh, hello, madam. And I play the, the president of Elysium, who is kind of this, I want to say kind of a nuanced guy, you know, because he's trying to deal with a tough situation, but with some sense of, with some sensitivity. The, the funny thing is that even when I got this role, it was funny, Neil wanted me to read for it. I was in New Mexico. And he was, I think, in Vancouver, South Africa, someplace, and there was no way for us to, to meet. So I took my iPhone, I recorded the other person's lines on my iPad, and I did the scene with myself, sent it to him on YouTube, dedicated. He looked at it, and we just, we, we started doing it. Yeah, it's a very futuristic audition. It is, and <laughs> even, yeah, exactly. <laughs> What does Elysium look like? It looks like a green screen. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, yeah, there was, I mean, there was, of course, there was a lot of structure there, but what we shot and what's on screen now, it's an amazing transformation. Although it's a sci-fi, what Neil does it is that he doesn't put it so far in the future that the audience is detached from, from the subject of it, right? So he takes a hot button issue, he removes it just enough from the present day so that you can look at it and he he does a great thing that he gives you the argument on both sides you can see both sides that both sides have their own you know their own stance and it's valid and i think it should spark a really interesting discussion look work is work Right? I mean, when you get in there, it doesn't matter whether it's a $100 million movie or if it's a $50,000 movie. You know, you got to do your thing. It's challenging. It's fun. What I enjoy is that I, I got to work with some really, really, really iconic actors. And that, to me, is priceless.